Someone said, someone commented that uh, that I am wrong when it comes to the six amp hour battery and nine amp hour battery uh, has no power immediate power difference when it comes to comparing it to the 1.2 amp hour battery because uh, 18 according to everything 18 volts is 18 volts but when it comes to the power output at once there I'm told that there is no difference between this and this and today I want to prove that theory wrong I think that the six amp hour battery will do an immediate uh, power difference between the 1.2 now we are not talking about duration we're not talking about how long the battery lasts I'm talking about will the 1.2 amp hour battery uh, do the same uh, type of work that a 6 amp hour battery uh, just by do using it a couple of times. In hindsight, right now, both 18 volts still. But I, I can tell you right now that this cannot do what this can do. I have a couple of tests lined up. We're going to do that right now. Alright, so what we have here is the Ryobi brushless impact driver and we're going to use the 1.2 amp hour battery to see if we could see if it has the power all right so let's see if let's see what this can do we're going to go with setting one first and i am going to put pressure on this I'm going to put pressure on this because it is a screw. It is. It does not have a socket. It is a flat out Phillips screw head. Alright, so number two. Not too, not too, I'm amazed. The 1.2 amp hour battery, it did drive that in. Now these are... And what size are these? Let's make sure. All right, these are four inch uh, screw heads. These are four inch. All right, that is setting two. We're gonna do one more with setting three. And I'm going to guide it in first with number one. All right, now, number three. Wow. I'm surprised that that did that. All right, so now we're going to use, put that on charge. We're going to use a six amp hour battery and see what that does. We're going to flat, flat out use number three. Wow. All right, let's do this. Wow. All right, let's switch the battery out to a two amp hour. This one is fresh. Yeah, see this thing, after doing three, after doing three uh, screws, that's uh, that actually needs to be charged. That's crazy. Three screws that needs to be charged, and it's still charging. All right, this is the 1.2 amp hour battery. Wow. There is a major power difference because this took out the the six amp hour took out the the four inch screw with no problem. This and the two one point two amp hour battery uh, it took it needed a little bit of uh, it needed a little time to to us uh, to start it. There is a difference. I, I, I'm surprised that it did it when it comes to using the impact. Uh, the impact. I'm surprised that it did it, but it actually did do it. Now, 
Let's use a one point, let's use the four amp hour battery and see what the difference is. All right, this is uh, setting number three. Yeah. All right, let's do, all right, that's with the four amp hour. Let's do the six amp hour again with number three. Oh, what a difference. There even is a difference between the four amp hour and the six amp hour. And we're going to put a 2 amp hour battery in. Now let's do, let's do a, one that could be done with the socket. A lot thicker than a screw. Now that is number three that went past the, the line. Now let's reverse. All right, that was with the 1.2. Now let's go to the six amp hour and let's see what the results are. That is extremely fast and that, that bit is, that uh, this is hot. There we go. All right, now let's see. Wow, that went in fast. Bingo. And that's about the same line, it's inside the it is inside the wood, beyond the level. Yeah, the what a, there is a difference between the H the six amp hour HP and the 1.2 regular. There is a significant difference. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to get the hammer drill see what the hammer drill does between the two. Now I want to put this back on charge because I think the I think this is good. Just flat out connect that to that. Very good. All right so let's do that again with this. We're going to use setting one at the regular the regular drill. That did it. Let's do that again with setting number two. Wow. All right, let's do the six amp power. That's setting number two. Wow, that went in like crazy. That went in really, really fast. Yeah, so far there is a difference between the 6 amp hour and 1.2 amp hour, but these are not high, uh, high volume tools. So what, so what we are going to switch, we are going to switch tools now. We're going to do the, the higher volume tools and we're going to start out with the circular saw. Alright, that is, put that on charge. Alright, I am going to need to take these out because I don't want to have to cut through metal if I don't have to. And the uh, six uh, six amp hour HP is still at full capacity. We are going to do this test with the 1.2 amp hour battery first, and see if it's able to do it. We will we wherever this stops is where it's going to be the the measurement will be. That's where it stops. 
the 1.2 amp hour battery stopped right there. So I'm actually going to put a mark. I'm going to mark that with right here. So now let's do the let's do the six amp hour HP battery. I'm going to do this full force. I'm going to put all all my might on it. Let's see what this does. And it did it. Now that's that was the six amp hour battery it was with full force me pushing on it with all with not all my might but with a lot of might. And the HP battery was successful on doing that. Clean out the connections. All right, we're gonna give the 1.2 amp hour battery one more shot. Let's see if it can redeem itself. Uh, fresh, fresh off the charger. I'm not going to put too much pressure on it. I'm going to let it stop by itself. And that's where it stops. The 1.2 amp hour battery is not capable of cutting this full length. This is, I never thought that I would actually ever do this just because. I'm gonna put these in here. I mean, that's just flat, I'm not gonna lie, that flat out just looks wrong. Let's see what this can do. Assuming this will clear, yes it can. Alrighty, let's see what this can cut. This is the 1.2 amp hour uh, battery test on the 10 inch one plus miter saw. So let's see what this does. Nope. All right, so far it is not doing good. Is this is how you fry your motor because if you're pushing on something and the motor can't do it, it majorly puts wear and tear on the motor. So I'm only gonna do this one more time. Yeah, that was me. To cut, to cut something off like that, it was majorly struggling. And I also was told that this, someone pointed out that this brushless miter saw does not have the special connections for the HP part of the battery uh, to give it that extra oomph in case if you need it. So uh, I, I don't know what to make of that. But So let's do the same test with the two 6 amp hour batteries and let's see if it'll work. Now remember, this test is not for duration. This is for the 18, that this, that both the uh, 1.2 and the 6 amp hour battery to uh, give the same output for a few cuts. This is not duration. So if for that, for this to be accurate, these two batteries should act the same as those two did. This, this should struggle to do this one cut. Let's see what happens. There we go, just about a little bit more. There we go. All right, let's see what happens. Not even close. It did it just fine. I was able to push the motor. The motor did uh, just, it, it slowed down a little bit, but I was able to just continuously push and it did not stop. Now with the two amp hour batteries, with the two amp hour battery, the uh, 1.2 amp hour batteries that's charging right now, those struggle to do one cut. It actually stopped. 
uh, the two six amp hour batteries that are on here did not stop the motor. It slowed down a little bit, but not even close to be able to stop the motor. You can see it right here that the, the HP uh, connection is right there, and that is located right here on the battery. On the miter saw, there is none. So as you can see right here, that is where the, the HP connection is, and there is nothing like that right there. There should be right here a metal connection, right here, but there, but there is not. So the HP factor of the batteries is not included in this brushless miter saw. So ignore the HP part for this saw. For the next test, we're gonna go outside. We are gonna see if the 1.2 amp hour battery could take off a lug nut with this. Let's find that out. All right, we're just gonna flat out use speed three. This, is, this battery is at full charge. So let's see. Yes, it can. It is capable of doing so. Let's do one more. Yes, it can. But it's having trouble tightening it back up big time. It, it won't tighten it up. Yeah, that's having trouble tightening that up. And this is now warm. Just by doing that, this thing is really warm. I'm going to have to let this cool off. All right, so let's tighten up those three bolts just a little bit. Oh yeah. That's capable of doing it. Perfect. Excellent. All right, so let's clean up. For the final test, what we're gonna do, if the 1.2 amp hour battery has the, the power to be able to easily blow this stuff off out of this uh, uh, leaf blower. Uh, this isn't a powerful leaf blower to begin with, but we're going to see what it can do with the 1.2 amp hour battery. So as you can tell, there is a big difference between a 1.5 amp hour battery, a 4 amp hour battery, and a 6 amp hour battery HP. This cannot do what this can do. So the, the, these batteries are all 18 volt, as all of you guys know, but there is a difference from immediate power. Now if this one, if the motor is being uh, overworked, this one will stop performing. And this one will continue on further, but not as much as this one will. So like the 1.2 amp hour batteries is really for like uh, drills, vacuums, the, the blower, flashlights, uh, and so, uh, sanding stuff here and there. But as you can see, two of these couldn't make a single cut in a 4x4 board in the 10 inch one plus miter saw. This one can with ease. It had a tiny, tiny bit of hesitation, but it did not stop, it, it did not stop the motor uh, even a slight bit. So this, uh, the two six amp hour batteries for the one cut was able to do it on uh, a fresh battery while this was also a fresh battery uh, batteries and the two 1.2 amp hour batteries failed at making the cut one time. Now it's still 18 volt, but as you can see, there is a difference between these two, you know, in, in, in uh, immediate power. So duration, this, would, this one won't last long. This one will last a long time. 
but for two fresh uh, for all fresh batteries to perform a couple of cuts this one doesn't do the trick this one does they're all 18 volts but they do output power differently because of the extra cells and I, the, the test proved it especially with the circular saw test and the one plus miter saw and once again the one plus miter saw is not uh, HP battery friendly the capability of using the HP power in this does not work on the one plus miter saw because it doesn't have the special connections that the HP battery reads it does not have those connections on the uh, saw it just has these it just has the top ones which that's the regular input for the battery so I, I wanted to do that test just to show that there is a difference between this indirect power and this direct power in the next episode uh, I can't wait to customize this stuff because it, I, it says I saw this so now I, I got two of them now and this was the one that I thought that was in a different country but it is in the US and I got that I'm excited that I got that uh, that green sleeve which that's gonna be a novelty for me I'm gonna put that aside and so it doesn't get all marked up and it stays pretty uh, but yes uh, these bits do look different a little bit so we're gonna put these bits to the test to see if they're good and they said they're impact impact rated so uh, yes I, do, I am gonna customize the heck out of these cases so I don't need to bring any other case with me besides one of these I do hope that this was satisfactory to you when it comes to uh, proving that this is not as powerful as this in immediate use I, I know I'm gonna get comments bad comments on this I hope I don't I hope that people see the results and understand it but uh, yeah but uh, this is Dave Nicholas thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time <laughs>